A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hard workers have more than enough food to eat? But here am I, dying of hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hard workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast. Because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I serve you, and not once did I disobey your orders, yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered a fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord When the younger son comes to his senses and decides to go home, he is facing not just the ire of his father and older brother, but also rejection and even physical abuse from the village people. What the father does in receiving him is intended to protect him from harm. He runs to him, a very inappropriate action for an elder. The son is given a signet ring, symbol of enormous trust, and sandals, sign of his being a free man. Killing a fatted calf which can feed more than a hundred people means that the entire village is invited and will be prodded to forgiveness. The father acts totally out of the culture of his time to show his great love, which is the mirror of the love and mercy of the father in heaven. <music>